So apparently there's a problem with the Elgato? Or is there? Yeah, let's look at this. So, I've been having problems with my Elgato and recording. Or rather, I've been having problems with recordings taken from my Elgato. Uh, both work. I'm just weird about speech. But what you need to know is what's causing this problem. Because I have figured it out. In about three days. It was fairly obvious given the timing that I started encountering problems. So what's the problem? NVIDIA. Yeah, the graphics card is responsible for the Elgato breaking down. Now, at first glance, that doesn't seem to make much sense. Why would my graphics card be messing with my Elgato? The Elgato is a capture device, so it should be handling the work. But, no, NVIDIA actually does matter in this case. I updated my NVIDIA driver the day I started encountering these problems. In the first recording I recorded after updating NVIDIA is when I encountered the issue for the first time. Now, that sounds suspicious as is, but here's the thing. The first recorded instances of this problem also happened about three months ago. NVIDIA updated their driver three months ago. Yeah. Uh, I'm not the only one having this problem, but I'm assuming most other people glanced over it and didn't realize it. Because, well, it's your graphics driver. You probably update it without even realizing it, or your computer just auto-updates it. Me, I don't like updating things. I was trying to update it to fix another problem. It didn't fix that problem, but eh, I can always just record using OBS instead of Windows uh, Game Capture. It's a little bit slower, but it will work. But I can't really replace what the Elgato gives me in terms of functionality, which is flashback recording. I don't have an alternative option for that. So, yeah. If you want to fix the Elgato freezing issue, you have to downgrade NVIDIA to a version before three months ago. Like, it works, but it is a little annoying that you have to go through the trouble of downgrading your graphics card because it introduced an issue that breaks specifically the Elgato. It's... Uh, well... I did test it, and it seems like my footage is back to normal when it exceeds 30 minutes. Because the problem... Well, the problem was, when you exceeded 30 minutes, there's a high chance that your video would start corrupting and be stuck on uh, repeating the last few frames it managed to encode. I'm saying encode because it's rendering just fine in the preview, but rendering and encoding are two different things. I'm assuming what's happening is it's rendering just fine, but something in the back end isn't encoding properly. At least I think it's the encoding and not the rendering. I'm not exactly a video expert, despite the fact that I know a lot about videos. Yeah, take that for what you will. Anyways, I just wanted to make the video to, like, help anyone else who's encountered the same problem. Because it is a really annoying problem, and I'm assuming most NVIDIA users didn't realize that the problem existed. Like... 
or rather that it was a problem with NVIDIA, because as far as I know, it only affects the Elgato, which, yeah. But what it, what can you do about that? Different, it's different companies, and their software is interacting with it, each other, and there's two different hardware components interacting with each other. Yeah, and kind of, in, incompatibility issues are a thing that you occasionally have to deal with. <sighs> I'm not great at speaking, but I try. And this is why I rarely put out commentary videos. That and the fact that I still haven't moved out, but considering pandemic, lockdowns, and current economy situation, probably not a good idea to move out right now. Yeah, what can you do? I have to either deal with background noise and the fact that I'm incredibly mic shy around other people in person. Yeah, well, this is what I have to deal with. Anyways, signing out.